Hi everyone, it's Sam McKay from Enterprise DNA. <coughs> Today I want to dive into how we can work out margin changes over time. So you might have some um, some analysis that you're doing, and you want to see. Well, I, you know, I, I make uh, you you might make. A, over one time period, you're looking at say customer margins, but you want to compare. Well, did they change? So, uh, was there uh, was there any um, impact to say promotional activities you ran, or um, or to sales initiatives, uh, sale or, or, or sales team changes, or, or personnel changes? So, there's lots of different uh, ways that uh, margins can be impacted, and I just want to showcase to you how you can actually work those out and showcase those in a really compelling way. Now, what we're looking at here is a workshop that I recently uh, ran uh, through the Enterprise DNA webinar series. And uh, this this workshop was all about discovering advanced insights. So, you know, this this customer margin impact is, is really an advanced insight because it's not something that you can derive just directly from the table, uh, the data tables that you'll generally have, right? So if, if we go and look at the tables, so, you know, if we, most of the time you're dealing with, uh, with, with tables, you know, if you, especially if you're making sales, well, um, you know, you might just have, you know, there's no margin information, right? And, and, and um, usually the mar margins um, are not sort of aggregated up at a customer level or anything like that. They are, um, they usually have to be derived from some um, columns of information, numeric columns of information. Now, if you think about what we've got here, well, we've, um, if you think about just margin in general, how do you work out margins? Well, you've got to work out profit divided by total, uh, by total sales, right? That's going to, that's going to give you your profit margins. Now we can do that based on the information in here, and I'm, that's exactly what I'm going to show you, to, show you today. So if we want to work out margins, so I'll just get it, I'll just get set up here. If we want to work out uh, margins, I've already created them, so I'm not going to create it, uh, recreate, recreate it for you. Um, I'm going to, I leave the link to the workshop uh, in the description. So certainly check that out because I run through um, some really great techniques, especially around measure branching. This is a really important concept um, for advanced analysis and Power BI. I'll leave that in the description so you can have a look at the um, entire workshop. But in this case, we're going to just look at our margins and inf information. <coughs> now we can calculate total sales easy, and then we can we can also calculate total profits. Now this obviously is me uh, is one of our first branches of measures because we're we're just referencing measures inside of here. We're not referencing any anything in a table. We're referencing total sales and we're referencing total costs, right? So. From here, we've calculated total profits, and then we can then go and branch again, and we've got profit margins, and we can go total profits divided by, in this case, total sales. That's going to give us our profit margins, right? So if we look at, and so let's go and have a look at our customer here. So our customers, uh, we've got, say, all of our customers, and, and we're looking over this particular time period here. Well, if I go and grab my profit margins in here, you can see here that we're now getting profit margin information, which is great. Uh, it's exactly what we want. So I've just got to turn this into a percentage. Should have done that earlier, uh, but anyways. So we've got profit margins here. Now this is really the the core thing that I want to showcase to you is how we can from here branch out into more these are more advanced calcs and and work work out well what is the margin what has been the margin change what is a margin differential um, to a prior period right? And it's going to be dynamic. It's going to be a dynamic calculation. So first of all, what we can do is we can use a simple time intelligence calculation. And so we're looking at calculate here uh, and uh, calculate. You can change the context of the calculation. That's the key thing to note uh, with calculate. And we're going to use date add. So we're just going to jump back one quarter. And so by using utilizing this technique, we can look at margins last quarter. All I'm doing is I'm subbing in that profit margins calc that we just calculated into this time comparison, I like to call it, um, technique or, or formula technique. And so what I can do is I can then drag this into my table and you'll see that I haven't actually formatted it again, which is no good. But you'll see that this now shows us the margins last quarter, right? It's pretty cool how quickly we can get to this in, in, uh, with measure branching, hopefully you can see. Now from here, from here, we can obviously derive the margin differential, right? Because we've got the two results. And so if we have a quick look at uh, this, how simple this formula is, well, we've got quarter on quarter margin change, right? And so all I'm doing is I'm subbing in my profit margin measure and the margin uh, LQ for last quarter, the one we just created. And I'm just doing a simple subtraction, and then that's giving me the quarter on quarter 
margin change. And what's really cool is that we can then say um, change this table around a bit, get rid of some of these intermediary calcs and turn this into a visualization. And then this is how we can um, really quickly see because sometimes if you just look at, say, at the margins in isolation, well, it's not actually adding a huge amount of value, right? We want to actually look at our margins, uh, differentials, and we want to see, did they change? And then this actually gives us an advanced insight. They can say, okay, well, why is why are our margins lower? We need to push, we, we don't want any margin contraction. We want expansion. And so you can really quickly see, you know, how things change. And then we can, say, change the time frame and look at um, the differential there. So really really powerful way to look at this, these, these, this, these margin differentials, these changes in margins. And then ultimately you can come back and create a compelling visualization with many of these techniques all combined together. Um, and you know you can dynamically utilize the data model um, to showcase all of the you know, key pieces of information you know, depending on, on what you want to look at, look at in, your, in your data set. So just a reminder, I'll leave the link to the entire workshop in the description below. Um, certainly check it out, it's, it's very worthwhile. I've covered lots of advanced techniques in Power BI and that was the goal of the session. And to the, uh, you know, there was, um, uh, we had about maybe 400, 400 or so register for the event, um, you know, and um, many, the feedback was great. So I highly recommend checking it out. Um, there's just so, so much you can learn about uh, Power BI through just that one session. Okay, so I'm going to round things off. Um, also, you know, if you're learning Power BI, certainly check out Enterprise DNA online. There's lots of um, uh, there's uh, some fr uh, free courses available there, um, and uh, and and also some of the resources, all of the uh, that I, I that I offer out there, all the links uh, for those uh, for the the variety of different um, uh, downloadable uh, resources will be in the uh, description below. So check those out too. Okay, if you like the uh, content, certainly throw this video a like. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, all the best with this one. Hopefully you can uh, utilize a lot of these techniques I've been, I've been talking about recently, uh, especially this one, in your own analysis. All the best.